Something that I've been doing is learning machine learning. And part of that, I've noticed that they like to give you just canned demos to use. So for example, you'll download the MNIST data set if you want to try recognizing handwritten characters or digits. The same thing applies to wake words. Now, a wake word is just something that you can say, whether it's a word or a phrase, to enable a device to start listening to you. You are probably most familiar with these Amazon Echo devices, and the wake word for these is Alexa, although my understanding is you can pick from a few different ones. Interestingly enough, these devices are a version of Tiny Machine Learning, Tiny ML, and that is because they are listening for that wake word. Now, the device itself is only listening for that particular wake word. Anything else you say after, say, Alexa, is then streamed to a server somewhere where they do natural language processing and other word recognition to try to figure out what you're asking it to do. But for now, I want to show you how to train your own wake word for your own device. Now. I don't mean an Amazon Echo, I mean any device. So this might be some project you're working on, whether it's a robot or something to say, stop a piece of machinery. That's where I wanna go with training your own wake words because right now, as I was going through the demos, I found that all you could do was download the Google speech commands data set and use that. And they have a limited number of words. It's about a dozen, I think. It's like stop, go, forward, backward, one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to like 10. That's all you have to work with. So what do you do if you want to train your own wake word? And that's where I got to learning all of this stuff and figured out that it's not trivial. You actually need a ton of data. And part of that is trying to get different people with different voices, different inflections, different genders, everything saying this wake word or wake phrase in order to train a model to recognize that. I don't know how Amazon does it to train Alexa devices, but from what I understand, Google scrapes YouTube videos. They scrape the thousands of hours of YouTube videos out there for different phrases and uses those to train their models, which is how you get things like, okay, Google. So, which is funny because this video that I'm making here might be used to train Skynet. We'll leave that alone for now, but I want to come back to this idea of training your own wake words. How do you train it for your own projects, for your own embedded device that you want to wake up, listen, do something? For this, I'm gonna be working on a project and I'm gonna hopefully give you updates on that project as a series of videos and in the process, develop a series of tools that you can use to train your own wake words. And I'll show you how to use those once I get them up and running. But my project idea for now is to train something from a video game. I always loved it in, say, cartoons and video games when the characters would power up and shout the name of the move that they're performing because somehow that makes the move work. And one of my favorites was Street Fighter. Yes, we're going to train Hadouken. And ultimately, what I want to do is put an embedded device in a controller, like, like this one, this Super Nintendo controller, and I want it to respond and actually perform the move when you shout Hadouken into it, or whatever, but we're gonna start with one for now to prove that it works. The other thing that I'm doing is collaborating with a few of my maker friends because I wanna help them train their own wake words for their companion bots. And for example, Alex from Hexter is working on an owl and a fennec fox. She's created these and she wants to have them respond to their names or something like, hey Archimedes or good night. In addition, Jay is working on a dragon and it is going to respond to the famous Game of Thrones phrase, Dracaris. Dracaris? Dracaris? Whatever, the thing that Daenerys says to make the dragons breathe fire. He wants it to respond to that and actually breathe fire, which is amazing. So that means I need everybody who's watching this to submit your voices to help us train these robots and train Hadouken to do these things. From what I can understand is that it requires about a hundred different samples and we can do a few things like data augmentation to make these samples go a lot further but we probably need at least 30, 40 samples and we can make them, we can stretch those out to like a hundred different samples. So we need your help and I'm gonna show you what's going on and give you a link at the end of this video so that you can submit your own voice to help us out. What Google did for their speech commands data set is 
put up a website that had people submit samples of their own voices, and it just recorded them saying a variety of different phrases that made up that whole dataset. So if we search for Google Speech Commands dataset, you can learn about it on this blog, and you can download it here, but notice that this is the version 0.01, it's not the most up-to-date. You can click on this site, and it will show you where you can go to record your own voice. Uh, you'll have to allow for the microphone, and it'll just show up a bunch of different words, and you can follow along. So I'll try it. Five. And then you can play it. Five. And you can click upload, and you're supposed to follow along with these, but I'm not going to upload any of these. This is a very nicely done site that walks you through each of the phrases to say. And if we click on their GitHub link, you can see a link down here. This one actually gives you version 0.02 of the speech commands data set. So if you're going to be using the speech commands data set, I recommend downloading from this link, even though it seems to be a little hidden. Since I couldn't find Google's source code to make that recording site, I did a little searching and I came across this simple Recorder.js demo by the AdPipe user, and it looks like something somebody made for one of their companies. I don't see a license on here, um, so heads up on that, I asked them what the license is to use this, but if you look through the code, you can see that there's an index.html, there's a style sheet, and the important stuff is in the app.js file. Here you can see where they create a record, stop button, and so on. And since I am not a very good HTML or JavaScript programmer, I actually had to ask my friend Andrew Jaswa to help me fix this up for my own site. This is my friend Andrew. He is really cool. He does lots of cool web dev stuff. Please give him a follow on GitHub. He's awesome. What Andrew helped me do was create this site. If you go to seanhemail.com slash botwords, you can see very, very simple HTML. I mean, no CSS or anything, just super basic. Gives you a description of what we're working on. I'm doing Hadouken. Jay is making some stuff for his dragon. And I'm gonna click on this to show you what his dragon is. And you can see it in progress on a hackster site, which is super cool. There is Alex who is working on Archimedes. She has documented that build also on hackster. And she's working on another Fennec Fox and that will hopefully be coming out soon. The idea behind this site is that under each phrase, it'll tell you what to say, you press the record button, and then play it back to you. When you're happy with it, click the upload button. So let's try a couple of these. I'm going to do Dracaris. Dracaris. And then, so that appears down here. We can play it back. Dracaris. And if we're happy with it, I can either download this to my own computer if I want to have it for whatever reason, or ultimately I click upload to server and that sends it to my server on seanhemail.com and I'll be able to download those on the back end and I'll show you just a minute. But it shows each of these, here's Hadouken, Fenrir, Archie, all of the ones that Alex, Jay, and I would like you to say. So to get them, I'm gonna go into my cPanel. I'm using HostGator and cPanel is what they use to let me browse through files on my server. I'll go into my public HTML and go into BotWords. You can see this is where all of the WAV files get dropped, and I've prepended each WAV file with the phrase or word that I want to be said. That's going to make it easier to divide these up later into their particular bins and give them nice labels for training. And you can see this is where I keep the index.html. This is the basic HTML, gives you a description of what's going on. The buttons are really just basic buttons. And I give each one a class that is a record button class, and the JavaScript is looking for that. The ID is the name of the thing that I want to be set, and that's actually what's prepended to the WAV file. And then I include the JavaScript at the end. So I need both the recorder.js library that I'm using, as well as the app.js, which if we go back into here, we go into the JS folder, there's app.js. We'll edit it. All it's doing is looking for any button clicks. It makes sure that the button is part of the record button class. If it is, it starts recording. It records that audio, basically creates a blob out of it. When it stops recording, that's when it creates the WAV file. It exports it and creates a link for you to download or upload to the server. 
So back in cPanel, sometimes you have to hit reload to refresh all of the files, and looks like here's the one we did today. So if I right click, I can download that file that's existing only on my server, and we'll show in folder. We will open it, and we will open it with Audacity. Notice that in the beginning of this file, a lot of times there's nothing, which is why I actually tell it to record for about two seconds instead of one second. A lot of times the browser will just fill this buffer with nothing or garbage, and you don't get a good recording until maybe about a half second to a second in. So even though you tell people make it a second long, you record for longer than it is because timing in JavaScript isn't always the best. So make it longer than a second so you hopefully get a second, and we can play it. Dracaris. And this is what will be used for training once we get a whole bunch of these. If you'd like to use this page in your own project, you can head to my GitHub page, Simple Recorder JS Projects, and this is kind of where I'm keeping these. These aren't necessarily meant to be used as some sort of library, but you are welcome to take them and modify them, use them as example projects rather than as a library or template. If you want a library or template, I would start with the original Simple Recorder JS demo. But if we go into bot words, this is the format that I have in my site. If you just drop this into your public HTML folder, it will start hosting index.html, which is the site that we saw. So feel free to modify some of these. And if you go into JS, there's app.js that we just looked at. The other thing to note is that there are no limits really to this. From what I could tell, somebody could just create endless amounts of recordings for each thing and very easily and quickly fill up my server. So that is something to be aware of. I mean, it's pretty much a glaring security hole. So while I have this site up, I'm going to ask you, please don't do that. This is for a fun project. I'm only going to keep this site up for about a week and then I'll take it down. So if you're planning to do this on your own, I definitely recommend just having the site up for a limited time, sharing it in a private network, or go through and add some limits to how many recordings somebody can do, or maybe some type of timing limit so that somebody can't just script this to just mash record and upload link to fill up your server. As I mentioned, I hope we can get 30, 40 samples per phrase, and then we can stretch those using data augmentation to be able to train these models to make them robust enough to recognize these phrases. So if you can spare about five minutes, please head to seanhemail.com slash botwords to submit samples of your own voice. And there's instructions on that page to walk you through each of those. Because someone could write a script that just dumps a bunch of garbage data on my server, I'm only going to leave this up for about a week. So if you could, when you see this, please submit your voice. If you can spare five minutes, help us out with this project. I promise it'll be super cool. With that, happy hacking.